Good morning ladies and gentlemen, this is Tony Hollowitz and I want to thank you for being here for this tutorial on ACT and we are going to take a look at some of the different kinds of fields we can work with in ACT. Now in a previous tutorial I had created a field right up here called favorite ice cream and this field is what is called a character field. I can just type in it. I can type characters, numbers, letters, whatever I need to type into it. And this is a rather simple field. Most of the fields in ACT right over here are character fields. There's a few fields here that are phone number fields that will format the phone number or the numbers you type in as a phone number. Here, this is an email field. But what my experience has been is that one of the great things about ACT is you can adapt it to the way you do things, to your business or organization. And having stated that, sometimes I think with a little imagination you can do things just that much better. So what I want to take a look at is some of the different types of fields that you can work with in ACT. To create a new field, what you would do is you'd go up to Tools, you'd go to Define Fields, and when you come here, as you create a new field, you can choose different types of fields, currency, date, date and time. And what I've done is I've gone through, and I'm going to click Cancel here, I've gone through and I've created some fields and put it in a different layout. Now you might remember I had said you can create different layouts for different needs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over by choosing a different field or layout I should say to add some new fields. And what I did here is I'm not going to go into complete explanation of everything related to this but you're going to notice that the character field, simple text, currency, the date, date and time, decimal points, an email field, initial caps, meaning it capitalizes the first letter of every word you type. Tony Hollowitz, this is all lowercase. This is a phone number field. This is a time field where I can choose a time. The date field up here, which I sort of went by quickly, I'm going to click on this drop down, I can choose a date. Down here, uppercase is Tony Hollowitz. So there are a lot of interesting things you can do with fields. The last three fields I want to draw your attention to are what I find in a way the most interesting fields because some of this is rather standard. Having stated that, over here is a field called the memo field and I think the memo field is a great field to be aware of because a lot of times when you're working with ACT and you're working with notes or history, to see the information you've got to go down to the tabs down below and click on these tabs to see certain information. But this is information that can hit you right in the face. In other words, it's a memo field where you can type things. For example, you know, you can type, you know, the wife is ill, the dog died, you know, business is tough, you know, going out of business, whatever it is. But when you come upon a contact, this information can hit you in the face. You can actually modify this text to make it bigger, bolder, or different color to really, like I said, hit you in the face. This right here is a picture field where you can add a picture. Now one thing I'll tell you about the pictures is you've got to make sure the picture will fit in the size of the field, but that's not a discussion I want to get into depth here. All I want to illustrate is you can add a picture field. Maybe if you have patients or you have contacts that you deal with and you want to put a picture of them so you can put a face with a name, you know, you can do that. I, I mean, I think what this does is it opens up your imagination to do so many things with it. The last field that I want to draw your attention to, and frankly one of my favorite fields, is what ACT calls a yes-no field. And a yes-no field is basically just a checkbox. When you click on it, that means yes. If it's unchecked, that means no. So, think about this. I've given you examples of working with um, layouts and the concept of we have an ice cream business. Imagine if you had check boxes for all different kinds of ice cream flavors. Well, the potential exists that you could do that. So when you look at a contact, you can check off what they like and the ones that are unchecked they don't like. In a separate tutorial, I'm going to examine check boxes a little bit more because I think they're a great tool in ACT for keeping simple visual information that is right there in front of you that you can work on very easily. So I wanted to give you an overview of some of the fields you can work with in ACT. You know, again, there's a lot of things you can do with this. What I urge you to do is 
hire a consultant, hire an ad consultant. If you're in a different area and you can prefer to work with someone locally, absolutely find that person. I'm always available. I can work with you remotely if necessary, but do what you feel most comfortable with. This is a great tool and it can be used great ways with proper imagination and that's really what I try to open up to you. Think outside the box and you might be able to do some interesting things. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tony Hollowitz and I want to thank you so very much for being here. Have a great day.